G'day, and welcome back to uh, Horus Heresy uh, Ultramarines from Scratch Part 80. Whoop de whoop, whoop whoop. Um, so, last week I've been away and I've just been doing a lot of fucking detail work on Gilliman. Detail, detail, detail. He's got freaking stuff hanging off him everywhere. Uh, small, fine brushes, lots of concentration, steady hands. Freaking, you know, light, getting the light just right so you can see what you're doing. Make sure you don't miss or go over the lines. It's very, very detail, time, concentration orientated, and it is fucking exhausting. So to reward myself for getting him actually on the stand glued together and about 90% done, I have decided to reward myself with putting some bulk color on these aquitas because they have been on my fucking table for way too long, and they take up a hell of a lot of space. They're the size of... I don't know if anyone actually runs them. I genuinely don't know if anyone runs them, but they are big. They're the size of a Kratos tank, which is a big... It's not, you know, it's not a, it's not a Falchion or a Fellblade or freaking any of those type, but it is a big fucking unit, um, at least as long and about a third the width. So uh, I'm sitting here trying to get it all just bl blocked and based in, and then I'll come around with a cleanup, and then I'll come around with another cleanup, <coughs> and hopefully wood glue them together. I'll ink them. You know, I'm just just making making work work and getting them together. And I am thoroughly right now, thoroughly fucking enjoying it. But I'm back now, and I'm with my family and painting away like a good little munchkin. Um, he was a Bobby G was a lot of fun to paint, but whew, I don't know. I did have another uh, playlist attached to this channel called Prepare and Pyramarks, and the idea was I was going to do unboxing. I was going to do the ba a video of the base. I was going to do a video of painting the, the sword. I was going to do a video of painting the head, video of the body, video of the arm, video of the backpack. You know, do all the bits one at a time, then a video of it all coming together. But because I got myself distracted, I did bits when I didn't have the camera, or I fucked up this, that, the other, <coughs> the, uh, the video series goes, unboxing, doing the base, assembly, assembling fully fucking painted model. And uh, yeah, but uh, if I do, when I do, not if, when I do another Primark, I will endeavor to make it a lot more segmented, friggin', you know, story based you know this is that 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 assembly done because i would like to work my way slowly through doing all the primarchs and of course uh, major kills emperor getting them all together i think they would like to make a nice little shelf thing even though i'm just still just learning the history i think i think that'll be a nice little thing to do you know plans for the future and whatnot the uh the other thing is i've, I've been still reading the uh, the word bearers book and I've realised I've been um, saying the name Argal Tal, who is the main one of the main characters, a bit of a bit of a moody fuck so far. Um, Argal Tal incorrectly. I've been pronouncing it like Fraggle, like um, you know the like the Jim Henson TV show Fraggle Rock. Down at Fraggle Rock, grab a Fraggle by the cock, swing him around your head. Until the fuck is dead. Yeah. I've been calling him Agaltal. Agaltal. And, you know, every time I read it and I read that name Agaltal in my, in my head, it just sounded so fucking ridiculous that I couldn't take the character seriously. But I've now been told his name is Agaltal. And that's apparently, you know, it's, it's got, got a little bit more gravitas, but he still sounds like, uh, you know, a disease sheep a disease the sheep would get on its uh, hoofs. Yeah, he's got a friggin', he's got foot and mouth. Uh, he's got uh, he's got crotchet. He's got argle tails. You know, but um, yeah, still enjoying the books. Uh, what else has happened? Oh yes, I went when I went to Beyond recently. I I purchased this the uh, heavy weapons upgrade set with the Volkite, the ever hated las guns, and the yeah, Bay and the Imperial Fist's best friend, the auto cannon. And uh, I'll put, get these put on and made up, and that means I'll have 10 heavy weapon squads. Simply because I don't see any point in wasting a sprue. Um, I'm going to just, yeah. 
The bad, bad news to my logic is that means I'll have the exact, or close to the same amount of heavy weapons units, men, as the actual, as tactical squads. So I'm going to have to boost my tactical squads. Uh, and uh, yeah, freaking, that's it. I'm going to freaking continue uh, just bulking in these tanks and do some cleanup. I'll glue them together and with some wood glue. Spray them, put some details on them. Hopefully they'll be in a little bit better shape next time you see them. I got some Thunderhammers ter Terminators to do. He just got a little bit of clean up. Um, I found, I finally found a gold combination to do the Emperor's armor for this uh, this unit. I should have not. I should not have assembled him. I should not have assembled him. I should have done him separately. So I don't know if he's going to be the same quality as that. I actually am throwing it up as actually doing the marble, the marbling, doing it in marble. So it's like a statue in marble. I think that might be nice, but I'm going to, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I found the gold. I found a way of applying the gold for his armor that I like. But I'm not going to be able to get into all these little recesses and bits and bobs. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. But anyway, that's that's that project. I've got another three Marines. I've got these to freaking kick in the dick. Everything's going well. And uh, to all my dudes in America, it sounds like you're living in interesting times. Um, no matter what happens to you up there, like no one, no one, no one likes the idea of anyone getting shot. But just remember, family and friends, keep yourselves together. Just. Yeah, look after yourselves. It's freaking hairy and scary from a freaking outsider's view, but freaking seriously look after yourselves, mates. Uh, yeah, freaking interesting times. Hopefully it'll all blow over. Uh, yeah, grim news, grim news. Anyway, I love the lot of yous. Give your missus a kiss. Love your family. Look after yourselves, and I'll see yous all later. Cheerio.